Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with everyone. I haven't been facing the camera in a very long time. And it was on my heart to jump on real quick and make this video. I'm about to go out to the gym. So I wasn't going to be concerned about being all dolled up. I just wanted to just go on, as the Lord says, go on and do this video. Um, I wasn't going to go to the gym because it's raining. But then the Lord spoke to my heart, why should the rain stop you? Rain is a blessing. And I know sometimes it can feel like really icky when it's raining. Um, but I know he put it on my heart to go. So I'm not going to let the rain stop me by the grace of God. And I'm going to enjoy that rain when I go out there. I'm not going to walk to the gym. I'll take the bus. But I thank God for a willing heart to not let the rain stop me. So... With that being said, um, let me go into why I came on um, camera, what I want to share. So, um, I'm going to sh I want to share that I'm going on a 30-day no-spend challenge um, regarding purchasing art supplies. Someone already said in another video that they were going to join in. Um... Maybe you've seen the haul, not the haul, the, the happy mail that I got from um, Latricia Douglas. And then I had got one before that from a surprise happy mail from Charlene. And with all that stuff that I got from them, of course, including my own stuff, I just really saw like I, need, I don't need to purchase anything more for a good while. I really need to. Put a screeching halt on this and use what I have. Um, I already purged. I've done decluttering. I've given things away. And not to say I won't give anything else um, away. But I just know that I have enough right now. And I want to save that money. Not to purchase another big art supply item like before. Or just to like accumulate money for art supplies. Um, or some big ticket item. It's really just... To save that money and I don't I believe that it's going to go on beyond 30 days I know there's one thing that I do have to keep buying which is resin but it's that's not more like an art supply that's for business because I've been creating some things and like just keep creating keep creating to actually do um, a relaunch of um, my my um glory express shop these keychains that i made that i put i stopped and the lord has just been dealing with me with buckling down and creating um these keychains and um you know getting ready for to relaunch um you know my business because the first time i didn't do it right and then i was kind of shy and it was a lot of other things that came into play that kind of interfered and hindered me and the Lord just came after those things and he's dealing with my heart. He's dealt with my heart, continue dealing with my heart and my mind. And so I know I will still need to get resin. That's not, um, that's a, that's a need, um, to, for business. It's an investment in business. So, yeah, so, um, the 30 day, you no know, spend challenge. I'm actually, I'm not buying any art supplies today. Um, I do have to buy a binder, um, another binder, and after that, because I need a big one, a big, wide one, um, I, I hope to be able to find a gigantic one, um, but at any rate, so I'm going to be starting this 30 day no, no spend challenge um, tomorrow um, for art supplies, and like I said, it may go on more, but I also want, not but, I also want to show, share um, this. I wrote it down so I won't forget. How I watch haul videos without being enabled to buy. Because I really do enjoy watching haul videos. Um, especially art um, journaling um, and art supply videos. You know, I watch um, several people's videos. I don't want to name everyone that I, I watch. And when it comes to Dollar Tree videos specifically, I watch Pretty and Floored. I just really like the how she how she shows what she purchased, you know. And I watch her whole videos um, when it comes to Dollar Tree 
the art journaling and the art journaling supplies and art supplies is so many people i can't name it um name them all but um with dollar tree specifically and like um what is it boxy charm um it's this beauty products that she gets and you know tj maxx or daiso i watch her videos when it comes to that and i've watched a couple of other people but basically i stay with that channel for um dollar tree um haul videos because it can get um very old, time consuming and i don't want to i don't want it to consume my time so um before i go into how i watch haul videos without being enabled to buy more um i'm going to share something i want to share three um additional journals i purchased like last week and even before that to add to my journal collection and that's also going on hold too um with the 30 day no spend challenge like you know i'm a jerk for those that watch my journaling videos know that i'm an avid journaler and i i collect journals and i write in them i write in ones that i'm led to during different seasons of my life and that season could be what's going on in the day. I may pull out a different kind of journal because I want to do art. I may pull I want to do a lot of writing. Oh, I want to do self-reflection. Oh, I want to do scripture study. Well, I do scripture study every day. But you know what I mean? Like I want to do uh, a faith um, a faith page or what else would it be? Um, wreck this journal. You know, different types of journals. I just, ooh, I said it before and I'll say it again. It's fun and it's therapeutic and I really enjoy it. And um, I'm going to tell you something like for me, I used to, I, I do so much journaling, I watch less TV. Not that I don't watch TV because I do enjoy it, but I noticed that I'm so engaged in journaling that I really don't, I don't have time to listen to a lot of other nonsense. So I thank God for that. But let me go ahead and share the three journals that I added to my collection. I have wanted this for so long. And I was so surprised when I saw it. I think it was like three weeks ago in Michael's. I did not show that. I did not show that um in a whole video or anything. It's this journal right here. It's like um it's a snapshot journal for scrapbooking. I do have a traveling journal but it's a and you could put little pages in there um little um scrapbook um pages in there if you want you know do some scrapbooking rather but i really like this and i already went somewhere um this past weekend we went to dorney park and i just want to do like you know the things that we do over the summer i want to put them in here it says adventure awaits it's a, a snapshot photo book, right? And I like it because it's circular. Oh my Lord Jesus, I really, really like this. This one says, enjoy the journey. Yeah, so I'm grateful for that. Then there's, let me show you another page. And so the adventure begins. And then look, look at this one. You could write a little something and put, oh, I'm sorry. And I like the background too. You know, when you're traveling around the world, we're in the world, but we're not of it. <laughs> anyway, so the other one I have, which I already organized the first page and I'll show that. I already decorated so what, somewhat the first page. I'm also coloring. It's called My Little Bullet Book, Be Gor Gorgeously Organized by David Sender right and um what i like about it is it has all these cute activities that you can do you know um god willing i'll be able to you know show some pages that i do as i go along you know i have a lot of ideas and um journal activities to to share and it's coming um there's no pressure, no race to it. So I thank God for that. Okay. Um, also, last but not least is this one. 
the 52 list projects. Now, you know, I said, I write, I like writing out the list. So this is a year of weekly journaling inspiration by Maria Seal. So I'm going to just show you. So is this one is like, it has different seasons. This is winter, right? So, so let's look at summer. This is summer now. We're in summer, summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Summertime. Hold on one second. Okay, here's summer. Right? So, I didn't start this yet. I will this weekend. And there's no race. It's no race. List list the things that make you feel healthy. Mind, body, and soul. Look at that. Oh, my God. Take action. Try combining a few of your healthy habits to start this week off right. Oh. Da, 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 da. I love Mm. And this goes in connection with what um something I'm going to share, I think, in another video. I don't know if I'm going to share it in this video because I don't want this video to be too, too long. List 28. List 28. List the wildest things you want to try. Take, act, take action. Do you have a bucket list? Are all of these things on it? Maybe it's about time that you got a little wild and did something outside of your no norm. Go do something crazy. Don't go do something too cray-cray. All right? All right, um, list 29, list your childhood and current dream jobs. Oh, that is awesome. So, you see, and there's some really nice images. I really like that one. This is real nice. Okay, um, the video had cut off. I don't know what happened. So, I have to be honest here. I want to be very honest, authentic, transparent. I cannot say when I watch haul videos, I'm like, oh my God, I need to buy more. I need to buy more. I need to buy more. What I would say is there are times I've seen haul videos and I've seen some very great items. And then I say, you know what? I could use that. I like that. And I want to buy it. So when I go shopping, it's not driven by a haul video. It's actually because I've seen something in a haul video and I truly want that thing or I need it. And I think there needs to be a difference because one is like this addiction, like, oh, I need more, I need more, I need more. And the other one is like, I see something, I like it, I can get it, I'm going to get it. But even with that, I know there needs to be um, self-control. And so with that being said, these tips that I'm sharing, it's like, I have to pray to implement them because just because I'm not driven or enabled by whole videos to go and buy more stuff, I cannot say there weren't videos that enabled me in some way to lose um, perspective about other things. And God is like, hold on. It wasn't a whole video, but it can happen because there are images, you know, coming into our mind. It, and it influences our thinking. It influences our desires. And the Bible says that we have to guard our heart with all diligence. So even though it may not have been a whole video that enabled me to go and buy more things, I cannot say that I've never been influenced um, by a, a different kind of video to start thinking a certain way or desiring something that really the enemy wanted to just distract me by. And it wasn't, believe me, it wasn't art supplies or whatever. So at any rate, and I don't want to go all the way into that, but I just want to, to share that little tidbit. So first thing, again, how do I watch horror videos without being enabled to buy more? First, the Lord. Self-control. He's the one that works self-control in my heart and our hearts. But it's his fruit. The fruit of the Spirit, right? And just yielding to the Holy Spirit. You know within yourself whether you're going too far. I was watching an episode of King and Kings of King of Queens. And in the episode, it was so funny because they had a mold situation. And they didn't have the money. Now, they both have good jobs, but they didn't have the money to take care of the mold situation. Make a long story short, they both... they Doug had to go to his father... To borrow twelve thousand dollars, and the father, the first thing the father said, "Where's your money?" And Doug was like, "What?" He was like, "Where's your money? Y'all both have good jobs. You should have at least thirty, forty thousand saved up." And Doug was like, "We don't have it." And he was like, "Let me see your books. Let me see your books, right?" And so then, 
when Doug showed the father the books, they had like no money saved. And the father was just like, I'm going to tell you where your money is going. So they went through Karen's closet. And oh my God, she had like $400 shoes, $700, uh, a $325 shirt with the tag on. All her clothes was high end because you know, if you watch that show, she's the type of person that she really, really likes high end clothing. So he said, that's where all your money is going. Make a long story short, she found out what they did. She was so upset. She left out the house. Doug went behind her. And then she sat down. And she would, um, no, she was sitting down. And Doug went and sat down in the restaurant with her. And she began to confess and admit she had a problem. And what she said was, at first, I, she said, I was mad at you. But then when I thought about it, I was mad at myself. Because I knew I had a problem. I knew we could not afford those things, and I still got them. And she said, um, what did she say? She just said, um, she, you know, she was telling herself, like, we couldn't afford it. And then she said it was because she really hated knockoffs, right? And they have a couple of other episodes with her buying, like, these high-end things or going to extremes to get high-end um, high clothing. So I, I just... I, it was like, I just shared that to say, like, she struggled with self-control. You know, some of us, we we like things and it's okay. But then when it's like when God's saying it's enough and we don't stop, then that we know that that's a problem. But again, it's not a beat-up session. It's like self-control. Lord, help me with self-control, right? So that's one, the first thing. Then we can ask ourselves, do I really need it? If you're, if you are, if you want to stop and you don't want to purchase anything else, do I really need it? And for the past week, that's what the Lord has, do I been speaking to my heart? Do you really need this? Do you really need this? Is it really going to help you now? Again, this is if you watching this want to do a no spend challenge and you, you're struggling. And by me reading this, it's, it's also helping me. So... Number three, can I make it? I realize that sometimes the fun is in making things. That's why when I, I was um I enjoyed that um that um that story sticker book. But then as I began to look at it and I began to see what I have around here, I'm like, wait a minute, I I don't need to purchase these books for twenty dollars a pop. I can make these things. I have certain things, I've been gifted certain things. I may I may have to purchase one or two things for a dollar or two to actually make the storage um binder, but and and it is a need for me because I do need to organize my stickers, but I don't need to buy the twenty five dollar or the twenty dollar big sticker books, and I'm gonna have to buy so many of them because they put so many um but so many um how can I say um covers in there you know to in so many but so many inserts in there rather. When I could get twenty for a dollar or ten for a dollar, I'm gonna be paying twenty dollars for like what thirty. You know, if a person is rich and they can afford it or whatever, and I think even if I would like to think like, cause I know I'm I'm wealthy by faith. I, I say it in the name of Jesus. I hope that when that money hits my hand, that I can still make things like I don't have to go out and just buy it because I can buy it sometimes the joy is in making it and it depends on the person again I don't want to say this as a general rule because people are different you know I believe people don't have time to make things and they need to buy it their life they have other things they need to do and they don't need to be tinkering with other things so they need to buy it it's where a person is at in their life so this is not for everyone this is not this is my ideal but this doesn't mean it's an ideal for everyone else this is not law four enjoy others excitement when i look at the horn videos i realize that i can enjoy the excitement of others it, it's almost like a form of entertainment and i realize like window shopping which is i'm gonna connect that um with window shopping you can i i mean you could browse and enjoy. But I remember when I was younger, when I used to hear that people were going window shopping, I was like, what? No, I'm so sorry. Window shop for what? No, no. If I see it and I want it, I want the money to buy it. I ain't window shopping nothing. And you know what? 
it. And I would hear people say, oh, you know, you can look at it, price it, and come back later. I'm thinking later it may not be there. Because I had, um, what was that? I, everything was expedient for me. Like, oh, if I need it, it was like, um, what you call that? This instant gratification that I used to deal with. And God, you know, he dealt with it. And he still is dealing with it because, again, I, I want to humble myself. You don't know what could pop up and you'd be like, oh, let me go running after this. No, 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 no. But I would say that I don't operate like that today. Thank God for today. For today. Yeah, right? So, yeah, I used to be like window shopping. Psh, I'm so sorry. That's a waste of my time. I don't need to be looking at nothing and pining after it and I can't get it. You know? But... It's more, I, as I got older, I understand, like, window shopping, It you can do window shopping, and it doesn't have to be about what you're going to even buy later. It can be just to enjoy the way things are created, to get ideas, to spark your own creativity, and when I'm watching a whole videos, to enjoy the, ex the excitement of others, to see what they're going to create with it, and so, and I know that's I know I'll speak for myself. That's God putting that in me. Because in and of myself, Samantha, that is not the way that I am in the natural. And I already know. And I'm not going to go into all the stories. But I know that's God allowing me to see someone else's stuff and be like, oh, that's really nice. Look at them. They're so happy they got that. I wonder what they're going to do with that. And then, you know, when I see them use it in a video, it's very exciting. So... And last but not le least, and uh, definitely, definitely not exhaustive, exhaustive, do I have room for it? People, when I started organizing those stickers, I said, oh no, uh-uh, I'm not <laughs> buying anymore. <laughs> not right now, no, no, no. And I cannot say I'm never going to buy more stickers, but I know for 30 days or more, the least is 30 days. And I have so many stickers to enjoy. Like, I want to enjoy them. I want to use them. And I've been using them. I've been like, it's stickers that, you know, you have. Be like, oh, it's so pretty. I want to leave it right there on the, on the, uh, the, in the package. It looks so nice. Please, I'm using those things. And I'm using them in abundance. The other day, I was with something. I was like, fall off. Put it here. Put it here. Put it here. Put it here. It don't matter if it run out. It got to run out. It's supposed to run out. I'm supposed to use it. So, anyway. So, yeah. So, I think that's it for now. Um, with this um, dual video, right? Um, the no spend challenge. And, um... How do I watch whole videos without being able to buy more and giving my journal update? So, yeah, so that's it for now. I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.